Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me yet, I am May from the bilingual fashion, beauty and travel blog blameitonme.com. I am going to leave all the information below so you guys can check it out. I've been getting a few requests of how I blow dry and give volume to my hair and what products I use. So why not share? Sharing is caring, right? So today, that's what this video is all about. So if you guys are interested in knowing how I blow dry my hair and the products that I use to give it volume, yes, this is actually volume. <laughs> I have very thin and not very voluminous hair. If you guys wanna see how I achieve this, then keep on watching. So to give some volume to my hair, I am going to use Garnier's Fructis and Plumper Amplifying Leaving Serum. And also from Garnier, Mega Full Thickening Lotion. I'm going to leave all the information below if you guys want to check it out. I got these from Amazon. But you can also get them probably at your nearest Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid. Okay, so first off, I'm going to use a wide tooth comb. And I'm going to brush my hair. My hair is wet right now. And first, we're going to use the Ent Plumper Amplifying Leave-In Serum. I'm gonna shake it a little bit. Use. Instructions say to use it only on your ends, but because I don't have a part of my ends, only on my roots, I'm going to add it to the roots. And then the Mega Full Thickening Lotion. This I will spray it all over my hair and just work it a little bit throughout. So now that that's done, I'm going to use a blow dryer and I'm going to blow dry my hair. So I use my T3 blow dryer. I think this is one of the best blow dryers out there. I have tried several ones and this is the one that I have liked the most. It dries my hair super fast and I know I have very, you know, I have very short hair, but it dries it super fast and um, you have all probably seen it on Instagram and in social media. It's the white one, but I had the black one because I think it was on sale or when the white one, I don't know, but I had the black one. Anyways, next, I am going to use, as you can see, it has some volume already. I'm going to use my Noom, I hope that's how you pronounce it, straightener. I've had this straightener for years. I would say close to four to five years. It's very affordable, extremely affordable, and it's actually the straightener that I take during my trips. It works great just with an adapter, um, an adapter and a, what do you, what do you call it? It's a converter and it, it's my go-to. I can't live without this. So I'm going to part my hair and I'm going to start so I just blow dry, sorry not blow dry, straightening it. I make sure to pull up and then out, up and then out. This way I'm not disturbing the volume that I already created. So once again, up and out, up and out. Now, I don't go to the hair salon to blow dry my, just to blow dry my hair. I usually go once a month to color it. I get it blow dried then, but uh, usually I don't go to the salon to do it. I just always do it myself. I've also gotten a lot of comments when I do um, curls, the soft curls on my hair. If you guys wanna see that, let me know. And my little secret, is this trainer. I actually use this to do my curls. 
Um, let me know in the comment section below if you if you all want to see how I do that. You see that volume? I usually don't, well, I never have that volume unless I don't use these products. Actually, I received um, time, is that what it's called? Time um, iron is the one that it's supposed to be easier to curl your hair with. Um, I would love to do a tutorial, however, I don't even know how to use it myself. I tried and it didn't work out, so I have to go to YouTube <laughs> and a little tutorial from someone or even the brand the brand has a lot of YouTube videos to teach the customers how to use it but it looks super simple super simple to do it's just the trick is in your wrist but I tried it I didn't try hard enough though so I am done and I'm going to part it now. You see that natural volume that this that creates right there. Otherwise, it would just be line, you know, a line and super flat. If you guys want more volume, and when I want more volume, I just get um, what do you call this? Dry shampoo spray it on the roots and then tease my hair a little bit more which I'm actually going to do right now to show you all how to do but otherwise this is how it would look right here I feel the volume you know the product working Dante wants to say hi to you all <gasps> look who's here hey 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 little sucker Okay, so we're gonna tease the hair a little bit. This is the brush that I use. I got it at Walgreens. And it has this end, this pointy end. And then this short, well, long, but not too wide of a, what do you call these bristles? Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit here and just tease it, move the brush back and forth on the roots, just a little bit. And then just comb it with my hands. And you can see a little bit more volume. It just looks natural, that's what I like. Let's do it on the other side. Now, I don't recommend to tease your hair so often. Just um, consider that this damages your hair just a little bit. Um, I don't know how much actually, but it just makes sense that, you know, the shaft, your disturbing the shaft of your hair and with the back and forth movement. Now, as I mentioned, another trick is to use dry shampoo and I love this dry shampoo by Dove. Shake it a little bit and I spray it just in the areas that I teased. And as my last step, I have these two products. They're both by OGX. One is a coconut oil hydrating oil mist and the other one is argan oil. Actually, you can use this to protect your, protect your hair um, from the heat. You can also use it afterwards to give you shine and to give you some, if you have dry hair, sometimes when you color your hair often, you get um, dry dry ends. Try to choose 
whichever one I'm going to use the coconut oil today. Actually, I'm going to spray it in my hands just a little bit. And on the ends, it smells delicious. And just apply it to the ends to give it a little bit of moisture. And that's it. If you guys want to tease it more, you can. If you want to add more dry shampoo, you can. Okay, everyone, so that was it. Thank you so much for watching and for coming back to my channel. See you next time.